Cunningham, your man on the street. It's day one. The opening session is in a couple of hours. I got some time to kill. What should I do, Jim? You should go to the marketplace. There's an idea. Anybody know where it is? That way. Okay. Just break this game down for me. What are we trying to do here? You got to, to hit the hundreds if you if you expect to succeed. What so far in the marketplace has caught your eye? Uh, pretty much all, all the vendors. Uh, they have a lot of a good memorabilia and uh, pins and shirts and, and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. What do you got? It's a TENS unit. If you have any knots in your muscles, it takes the knots out. Very good sensation feeling. You want to try it on? Yeah, I think. Where else can I put these? Oh. No, no, I don't know. Don't say all over your body. I don't think that'll make the cut. You have got to get to the marketplace. From deals to wheels, it is a Shriner's paradise. But I got to get upstairs. It's time for the public opening. It is my distinct pleasure to declare the 141st Imperial Session of Shriners International officially opened. Welcome to Houston! We have an opportunity to do the right things, to go out and show them what Shriners stand for. What a great year it's been, what a humbling experience it's been, what an honor it's been to uh, represent Shriners International, Shriners Hospitals uh, for Children. We're happy to be here in Houston. We're just proud to, to host the 141st session. And uh, we just welcome everybody and make sure that they have a good time and hopefully do good work today. Among the many highlights of the public opening was the huge group of new nobles. Tell me why you decided to become a Shriner. For me, it was primarily about working with the children at the hospitals. Uh, I happen to have a couple of people in my family that will benefit greatly from the potential care the Shriners can provide, so I'm really excited about that opportunity. We're the nobles! The social aspects, it just builds upon the principles of Freemasonry and the fraternity that I grew to love and join, and it continues that with another organization that shares the same values, but it extends them to other resources that maybe just the normal Blue Lodge does not. And him eating your microphone. <laughs> Okay, I will have this cleaned. I'm Jim Cunningham. I will see you on the street. It smells like guacamole.